Welcome to the daily video update for June 5th, 2020 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Friday. One of the hardest concepts to grasp in community organizing is this. Getting really clear about your own self-interest and the interests of people around you that you are organizing with and in opposition to is a critical part of success in any organizing endeavor. So let's unpack that idea a little bit because there's a few steps between thinking about self-interest and how we usually think about faith. It looks on the surface like a kind of Machiavellian real politic, but it actually is a really important way of framing organizing work. So first and critically, in organizing, motivation matters less than outcome. Let me say that again because it's really important. Motivation matters less than outcome. The best motivations in the world can lead to, ne to negative outcomes, and mixed motivations often lead to positive outcomes. So to make this concrete, we can start with a negative example that it's at the f that's at the forefront of a lot of conversations right now. I am quite sure that there are many police and law enforcement officers motivated to make the world a better place, who joined law enforcement with good intentions and go about their job every day motivated to do good. I know this because I know them. They are classmates of mine, friends, brothers. But that motivation does not mean then that the consequences of policing are good. Indeed, we can see just in, in pure data that the current system of policing has significant negative effects on communities of color in America. So regardless of the motivation, the outcome is negative. The consequences are independent of motivation. I don't particularly care if most of the Minneapolis police force means well, George Floyd is still dead. Motivation matters less than outcome. Practically, as an organizing tool. As a pastor, I'd say that we all have to sleep at night, so motivation and conscience are pretty important on an individual level, but that's a different conversation for a different day. So if what matters is outcome, if what matters is, is what actually happens as a result of actions. Then motivation becomes not the primary thing that we talk about, but a tool to achieve that outcome. And the single most important tool for organizing based on motivation is self-interest. Because by and large, people do not turn out and organize out of the goodness of their heart. No, not not even Unitarians. To get people organized and effective, you need something that sustains long engagement with lots of setbacks. Think going to city council meetings, protests, organizing with people you disagree with, more meetings. What keeps people motivated to do that? More often than not, it is self-interest. Organizing for an outcome that benefits those organizing. Put very simply, um, two of the clearest examples of this in the last decade, the Movement for Black Lives and the March for Our Lives, share a rallying cry based in self-interest, which is stop killing us. So you can put these two concepts together, self-interest and outcome over motivation, and we can start to see how organizing for change works. Organ because organizing gets really effective when folks in power discover that it is in their self-interest to meet the demands of organizers. When a politician or official recognizes that their job security is dependent on instituting reforms that they might otherwise not do, sure, in that moment they don't have the purest motivation in the world, they're clearly acting in self-interest, but if the results are the reforms that organizers are demanding, that's still a win. 
That's how most wins in organizing happen. So here's the question for the weekend. In this current moment, what is your self-interest? If you are out organizing for justice or showing up at protests, what is the outcome that you want to see? And why does that outcome matter to you? To you as a person, not just as a philosophical or theological ideal. Have a great weekend, and we'll pick this conversation up on Monday.